Hello everyone, welcome back. We got a CGC unboxing. Seven books that are Bronze Age and some Silver Age books as well. We submitted this back in April, late April. Um, they have not been returned until late July. So um, when I originally sent them in, the turnaround time as far as the working time was supposed to have been around like 20 to 25 days. And I think it's still standing at that right now. We're closer to like 60, 50 to 60 working days. So I paid for Express um, on the grading for all these books, which is an additional $15. I'm in for 50 bucks grading on every single one of these books. So like I said, I made a prediction video and these books needed to reach certain grades for me to even break even or be even uh, reasonable for me to have sent them in to be graded. So without further ado, let's bust in this box and let's see how we did. All right, I love making these videos. These are like some of my favorite videos to make and my favorite videos to watch. I know I think I talk about that like all the time. But um, anyway, this box took a little bit of damage. <laughs> That's a lot of damage. How about a little more? <laughs> no, that's a lot of damage. So we'll see if everything is still in encapsulated correctly and not damaged and broken. All right, first one up. We've got The Demon, number one, DC Comics. August 1972 so this is a Bronze Age book um, my prediction for this book was like a 7.5 to an 8.0 how do we do 7.5 also all my predictions for all of these books if you want to go watch that previous video uh, be my guest I think I did pretty well in the predictions on this the demon number one DC Comics August 1972, origin and first appearance of the demon, Etrigan and Randu. Jack Kirby story, Jack Kirby and Mike Royer cover and art. This has got Jack Kirby art written all over it. That face, you can spot his the faces he does a mile away. This is a beautiful book. Really clean, really sharp. Thought it could hit an 8.0. As far as price-wise, um, I'm, I'm seeing and, and a lot of these books I'm just gonna go ahead and say this a lot of these books are hard to find prices um, because a lot of these books don't sell super frequently and if they do you just kinda gotta get lucky to get the correct grade and for it to all correspond um, prices are down right now prices on everything are down anyway uh, price on this I'm seeing around like 200 bucks I bought this in Savannah Georgia from a comic shop I think I paid like around 150. It's hard to say exactly how much I paid because I paid for these all in like a kind of a deal group. Uh, the three books that I'm gonna show, I paid for them in a deal, so I'm gonna estimate like 150. So with the grading fee, that puts me at 200. So this is like a break-even book for me. All right, next book. Oh yeah, Peacemaker number one. So this is from that same shop as well in Savannah. Um, I estimated this at a 4.5, but I had no idea. I said it could be anywhere between like a 6.0 to a 4.0. I had no idea because the tanning was kind of confusing me. Let's see how we did. 4.0. Peacemaker number one, Charlton Comics, March 1967. This is a one-page bio and photo of Pat Boyette, death of, of Irv Nerve Hagenau in Fighting Five Backup Story. Joe Gill story, Bill Montez, Ernie Bach art, Pat Boyette cover and art. So obviously the reason you get this book is this is the Peacemaker book in my opinion. Um, the first appearance of Peacemaker is in that Fighting Five book, uh, but he's not on the cover. This is that first Peacemaker cover in his first solo series. So this is like, the, that's the go-to book for me. Like I said, I didn't know how to really grade this book. Um, obviously it has that staining on the front there's that's not coming out and then just overall the book is kind of tanned um, so also when you're buying this book make sure you're aware that there is a reprint of this 
The original printing will be red in that top right hand corner with the Charlton comics. The reprint is like a more modern book. Um, I can't remember exactly the year it came out, maybe in the 70s. That has like a blue um, uh, branding in that top right. Be aware of that. I didn't know that when I bought this book. Also, The Peacemaker is freaking awesome. If you haven't watched The Peacemaker show, I was like kind of skeptical at the beginning of that show, but man, that show is, is awesome. <laughs> okay, next one up. Ooh, Marvel Super Heroes number 18. This I got from Jackzilla Comics on Instagram. I did a deal with the uh, the Batman Neil Adams cover, two, Batman 251, I believe, that classic Joker cover. Um, and I got that book and this book. Uh, my prediction, this was low grade. Uh, I was thinking like a 3.0, but it could have been lower, I said. Um, I've never gotten anything below a 3.0 that I've submitted. So, how do we do? 2.5, the streak is broken. Marvel Super Heroes, number 18, Marvel Comics, January 1969. Origin and first appearance of the Guardians of the Galaxy. Major Vance Astro, Yondu Undanta, Charlie 27, and Martin X Tanaga. Arnold Drake story, Gene Colan, Mike Esposito cover and art. So obviously the reason you get this book is, uh, you know, it's the first appearance of the Guardians of the Galaxy. This, this book is beat up. I mean, this is a classic low-grade book. Um, this is interesting because I've never owned a 2.5 or anything lower than a 3.0. I knew this book would get a low grade, obviously because of all the, the color breaking folds and just the general wear on the cover, but it also had a spine split. This is a square bound book. It's a thicker book. It's in a thicker case. I love these thick CGC cases, by the way. And if the spine can split, so like Giant Size X-Men, uh, Vengeance of Bane, number one, First Appearance of Bane, all those books are like thicker books and you can get that separation of the glue and the cover uh, from the actual book. So the book is kind of glued together, still stapled. It's thicker, but that, uh, that cover can separate, which is what happened here. And I think that's what set it over the edge to make it below a 3.0. All right, next one. All right, we have got The Man Thing, number one. Um, this is Marvel Comics, January 1974. Got this book from our local comic shop. Um, my prediction for this was a 6.0. Could have been a 5.0. Um, how we do? Bronze Age book. 5.5. Man Thing, number one, Marvel Comics, January 1974. This may also be my first 5.5. I'll have to double check that. Uh, second appearance of Howard the Duck and Korak, Jennifer Kale and Dakum appearance, Daredevil and Black Widow cameo, Steve Gerber story, Val Merrick and Sal Trapani art, Frank Brunner cover art. This is a beautiful cover. Um, great, great book. This is a book that I was really torn about submitting. And the reason why was, obviously I wanted to have this book encapsulated. I love, I love that cover. But it's one of those things like financially, is this worth it? Book, I bought this book for like $100. Now when I bought this book, I bought like a bunch of Tomb of Dracula books, um, First Appearance of Blade, Tomb of Dracula uh, number 10. Um, you know, I, I got a lot of stuff at that time and I think I paid around 100 bucks for this book. Um, the prices I'm seeing, now obviously there's not a lot of 5.5s for sale, I'm seeing this book in like 75 bucks. So, I mean, I'm, I'm looking at this as like I've taken a loss, like a pretty big loss. I don't know, this is one of those ones that like, it could have gone either way, but I knew, I knew it wasn't getting any higher than a 6.0. So I, I, was, I was aware and I was willing to, to, to take the risk or just take the hit because I like the book so much. Still a great book, but it is a loss financially. All right, this is a big one. Jungle Action number six. This first appearance of Killmonger. Um, the prediction for this was a predict a predict of 5.0. This is like a classic mid-grade book is what I was saying. So, um, yeah, let's see how we did. 5.0. If you don't believe me about my predictions, go back and watch my 
my previous video. I know you guys will probably think I'm making this up, but I'm getting better at grading and predicting. Um, it's like I've got some like Rain Man skills going on. Like definitely, definitely 5.0, definitely 5.0. Jungle Action number six, Marvel Comics, September 1973. First Black Panther solo story. First appearance of Eric Killmonger and Prey. Map of Wakanda. Don McGregor story, Rick Buckler and Klaus Janssen art, Rick Buckler and Frank Gaioia cover. This is an awesome book. He's on the cover. You got Black Panther on the cover. This is a beautiful book. Presents super nice. 5.0 off white to white pages. Um, this was a very, very good pickup for me. I got this book from a, uh, a live sale on, um, it was a Facebook live sale with a kind of semi-local comic shop um and i when he saw he was selling like multiple jungle action books at one time and i was like i want all of them i think i paid like 50 dollars for this book recent sales of this book i'm seeing um this is like a 350 dollar book in this grade this book in a mid grade this this book is kind of rare in in a lot of ways you just don't see these early jungle action books that frequently and you know you watch other guys get pick up collections and things and this isn't really a book you see that often Ooh, green lantern number 40 um man this book was clean this is one of the another one i got in savannah i saw this book and like you know you just don't see silver age at least i don't see silver age books in this type of condition very often I think that I thought it could be like a 7.0, maybe a 6.5. This was a clean book, nice book. How we do? 6.5. Wow. Green Lantern number 40, DC Comics, October 1965. Golden Age Green Lantern crossover, first appearance of Krona, Crisis Begins, and Origin of the Guardians. Obviously, this is that classic uh, cover of. Um, the, the original Green Lantern and the new Green Lantern, Hal Jordan uh, battling. John Broom story, Gil Kane and Sid Green art, Gil Kane and Murphy Anderson cover. Wow. This is a beautifully presenting book. This is a great grade. Great grade on this book. This has some fingerprints on the back of this book. Um, man, I'm super pumped with that. Uh, I'm collecting a lot of Green Lantern. I'm trying to get I'm trying to complete a run of Green Lantern if possible, because I I'm all in on Green Lantern. Uh, Green Lantern I paid around 150. Like I said, it was one of those. It was this book. It was Peacemaker, this book, and Demon. So they were all in that super good condition. At least I I thought they were in great condition. And um, yeah, I, I picked them all up together. I can't remember the exact figure of that total purchase. So again, I'm I'm estimating at like 150 for this. I'm seeing like prices like 260 for this. 260, so I think they're pretty good on that. Last book. Yeah, this is another thick case book. This is Incredible Hulk Annual Number One. Um, this is a classic, classic Jim Strinko cover. Uh, this is uh, my prediction was a 4.0. My prediction on this book was a 4.0, low grade, but presented very, very well. How do we do? 4.5, let's go. Incredible Hulk Annual Number 1, Marvel Comics, October 1968, Inhumans Appearance and Classic Cover. I love when they write that on the notes. Gary Friedrich's story, um, Mary, uh, Marie Severin, Sid Shore's art, Jim Sterenko, and Mar Marie Shev Severin cover. Easy for me to say. 4.5 cream to off-white pages. So a little bit worse page quality. Man, this is a great presenting book. So this is King Size Special Hulk. If you look this book up um, and try to find it on like different different apps and different sites, it's kind of hard to find. It's not it's not listed under Hulk Annual number one, but that's what this book is. It's the first Hulk annual. Um, but it really is that king size special Hulk. Got this book at a uh, show in Charlotte, North Carolina. I got this book when I bought that huge X Men lot, and also got the first appearance of Sandman, Sandman number one, which came back graded a 9.6, and this came back graded a 
uh, Hulk. Um, I paid a hundred bucks for this I, I roundabout. Honestly, I don't know how the numbers worked out exactly, but I, I may have gotten this book like just thrown in with the rest of that purchase. Um, I'm seeing prices of this uh, around like 175, 200. Uh, again, this is not one that sells very frequently, and if it does, it's hard to get that exact grade. So. I'm super happy with this, and you will be seeing a lot of this book because it's going to be replacing that Thor book right there, right next to Hulk, because this is my favorite Hulk cover. Guys, how'd we do? I think we did absolutely fantastic. Uh, as far as value goes, no super crazy, uh, you know, heavy hitter swinging uh, price books. I think our most expensive book may have been that um, that Killmonger book, Jungle Action. I don't I don't know this wasn't this wasn't a, a, a submission to try to uh, get more value for what these these books are this is a preservation submission and a presentation submission and just a, uh, a appreciation of these specific books being encapsulated guys thank you guys for watching I hope you enjoyed this video if any point in time you like this video give the thumbs up and if you like this video subscribe for more take care